when you first meet him, yes, you just smile. We are so lucky to have him and, and, and Rutherland's so lucky to have him. All communities need volunteers, but without that voluntary work, um, it, just, it just wouldn't happen. I'm Brendan Smith, uh, born and hopefully die in Rutherglen. Glen. Um, married, two little kids, just average Joe, that's probably about me. Nothing special. We're at the Rutherglen Glen Town Hall. It's just uh, about the only thing in Rutherglen where we hold all our big events. Pretty special place to me, I just sort of, you know, because growing up around here, all the plays are done here with school plays and like we do a dance show and Anything that comes to town usually comes to here. So I didn't actually meet Brendan till two years ago when the hall had recently been refurbished splendidly and as Arts Rutherglen people we thought it would be fabulous to run something that would fill the hall. So we came up with the idea to run the Comedy Festival Roadshow. About four weeks out from the roadshow arriving, we realised that we'd signed a document to say that we would supply the lighting and the sound. There was no lighting and sound. The uh, refurbishments did not cover that. So virtually in tears, down here at the hall, and Brendan happened to be here. Lovely big smile. What can I do for you ladies? And told him everything. I think I can help you out with that. And I thought, well, God, here's an opportunity. I thought, well, um, off I go and started writing emails and, and, and what have you. And, uh, and basically the rest is history. I was hooked up with the, uh, a lovely guy from Indigo Shire called Phil Pryor in the engineering department. Lucky he actually overseen the works here on the, Ren on the Renault and was quite disappointed the lights didn't get put in. I offered him a bit of a solution. I said, look, mate, um, I'm prepared to come and put some lights and stuff in. Look, I'm prepared to do them for nothing. You just give us a go ahead. And he basically got straight back to me and said, oh, look, you know, what do you need? And I, and I said, look, I'm a man of my word. I said, if you, if you can pay the $1,000 for the first stuff, I'm happy to do the, do the rest. Thanks to Brendan, we actually have permanent lighting that means you can run anything that requires anything dramatic and professional. We also now have sound that is of a professional quality and we also have somebody who can run it all. So I went and basically taught myself. I went down to Yarrawonga and there was a lovely guy down there at this Allegra Theatre Company. He walked me down, basically everything I copied off his, the template of their hall. Um, he showed me how the lights worked. You know, he invited me a couple of their rehearsals and I was blown away. I couldn't believe live theatre, you know, I'd never even seen it before. And, uh, and he was a bit of my mentor and just put a little message around to the community groups about us wanting some lights and stuff. And everyone threw in like a couple of hundred dollars, the schools threw in a couple of hundred dollars. Started you know, buying things online and pretty soon I was possessed with it. He's, he's a definite character. His, his actual nickname is Fox, but I've never been able to call him that. But with starting the ballet school, he, he came on board straight away and, and became extremely enthusiastic. Natalie wanted to make a little bit more money. She just had a couple of part-time jobs and was um, about to sell a soul at a, probably a supermarket packing shelves. And I said, look, you're just a waste, mate. You're a ballerina, like a bit of a no-brainer, isn't it? Why aren't you do something with your dancing and that and said look I've got a little girl I'd love you to teach to dance and surely if, if I had one surely there'd be someone else. So then Brendan um, found this hall for us which the United Church was doing up and said I think I've found a space for you and then he made the freestanding bars so that we could just use them and then stack them away and then the church said that we may bolt them to the walls and then of course mirrors because the children need to see what they look like. I bought everything and Brendan did it all for us, so it was great. There's a hundred little kids dancing around, living dreams to be ballerinas and tap dancers and jazzers and they run down after school, jump the fence to get into the hall, you know, they're as keen as mustard and then they get dressed up in 
thousands of dollars worth of costumes that are made by another mother in town. So he sits on eBay now and actually calls me and says, Lily, did you know there's a six lot of costumes on there? And I, his wife's very, very patient with him because he's always on the phone talking about ballet costumes or backdrops and, and new lights and things. So he's, he, once he gets hold of an idea, he becomes very passionate about it. Look, don't tell anybody, but I've been buying toys off the internet. This is my latest toy. $23,000 worth of stage lighting in 2002. Paid pits for $200. That's me, one of my best little babies. Matt from the primary school wants a bit of lightning and a magic tree. Don't tell him what the thing's worth, but he's got his magic and his bit of a magic tree and a bit of lightning out of it. Go to work, babe. Well, I first met Brendan at last year uh, as a tradesman, I needed some work done around the school and one of our parents knew Brennan, had a bobcat and did a bit of bobcatting around the hall. So that was great, that's where I first met uh, Fox as we call him. Looking around this hall here, this is just an awesome facility for us. We're only a school of 80, so we couldn't have a facility at school like this, we're only a small school. So to have school productions and meetings and all those sort of things is just fantastic. Each of the schools chipped in some money and this week for example, this month for example, the high schools had their production. The primary schools had the production, now we're having our production. So we all sort of work together to help each other out. These are our school chairs, which I lent to the primary school last week for their production. Um, Brendan's come down with sound and lighting. So without Brendan, this wouldn't happen. We couldn't use this. We'd be up at school, probably lugging lights down and mics down and all that type of thing. I can't run sound and I can't run lights. And in our parent body, we haven't got those people with those sort of skills. So for him to give up his time, uh, for all parts of our community is just uh, just awesome. Guy in Melbourne gave me a computer program that I can run all my moving heads and all the lights now. I can basically sit down there, make the show, easy to do. I tap a button on a little control panel on the night. I'm not winging it. Um, I think this is what the pros do. Yes, I know he's training up some other people. He's got a couple of people at the high school he's training up. So that his legacy will be he's trained these people up so when he does drift away or move on there's someone's going to be here with those skills that's really important to think about the future because we need to think about if he's not here who's going to do this stuff some people drink you know some people fish um some people crochet um i like the the technology you know the things that the stuff can do i just can't believe it and and then the magic we create. I know he does it all in a voluntary way, but I think somehow we need to somehow make it that he wants to be here forever and is happy being here forever and it's worth him being here forever. Rutherland's so lucky to have him because the hall is now in a state where we can have shows come in and it's set up for a professional show. And those little kids, they're up there as bigger than bravest little thing you've ever seen, running around that stage like it's like it was their second home. I just can't believe it. The whole thing is like, you couldn't pay me enough to do it, you know? Like, it's, um, yeah, I'm just probably a bit addicted to it.